is ridiculous. So I had to go on Zoom because stupid um, to try to hang on. Good. Okay, I'm just leaving it like this. We're staying in Zoom. It's going to be a pain in the neck. But um, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it with Streamlabs. Streamlabs is just being an absolute, an absolute jerk about it all. And I can't, I just can't. So Streamlabs is staying there. I'm not going to fool around with it anymore. We're gonna do it through Zoom. I just, I can't look at the, um, it's going to be a pain in the neck. I can't look at the, the uh, picture. I'm just going to have to look at the chat and keep myself frozen. It's it's really ridiculous. But hi, Brandy. Hi, Deb on the move. Beatrix, who will be back. We're not going to go off this way. It's stupid Streamlabs, and I've really had it with Streamlabs. Ari, Ivy Lynn, Jen, Lufa, Son of the Old Father, Tico, Carla, L. Jackson, Mandy, Kathy, Carol Boyce, Brandy, Beatrix, Lots of people know it's Streamlabs. It's Streamlabs. Monica, Mandy, Donna, Tanya, Joe Glover, Ray Albert, hello there, China Cat Sunflower, Kathy, hi, Star Pixie Mom, hello there. Um, let me see if I can just, I wonder if I can bring this. Um, If I bring this over here, you don't see a white screen, do you now? If I bring this over here, just tell me if you see a white screen, or I mean a blue screen, you know what I mean? Just tell me if you see a blue screen or you still see me. Hey, Kathy from Texas. Hi, Nanette. Hey, service dog, Olive. Hi, Trish Dickens. Hey, Danielle. Um, Hi, Star Pixie. Did I get you? Isn't she just something special? Gotta love T getting arrested for more crime today. Yeah. You're just here for the TT? <laughs> um, I think you said that at the last one. I think so, right? Yeah. You still see me? Good. Okay. All right, good. Then I'll just try. I'm trying to put the zoom window here so I see like real time. So it doesn't freak me out. And then I can still see the chat. Okay. It's just going to be sharing pictures, but that's all right. So Tisha, looking for compliments. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean, China. Who's looking for compliments? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Did you get a nap? No, not really. No, no. I, I've been going, 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 going. Hi, CIA mommy. T ops. Kathy from Texas, L. Jackson, right? Judy with an I. Cindy Chauvin, hello there. Hey, two scooter. Hi, Nanette. Did I almost, not all, of, yes, I think I, wait. I have uh, Charlie, Lucy, Woodstock is the baby Jesus, Snoopy, of course. I have Schroeder. No, I have Linus. I have the pageant sign. 
think I have Schroeder because I have a box. Um, I think I think I have that so far. Hi, Peggy Sue got married. What made you think of that? What made you think of that? Um, what the heck? What the heck? Hey, Mrs. Mick Jagger. Hi, Jana Do. Hi, T. Prang. Hi, Peggy Sue got married. Hi, hi, Amy's Justice League. Hi, Sweet Crazy. Hi, Kimmy Monster. Hi, uh, who else came in here? I can't believe the gall of tea. Hurts an officer, tries to run, I guess, suicide by cop. I don't think, how, well, we don't have, hi, Kristen. Are the pineapples new with sunglasses? Where are the pineapples with sunglasses? Oh, th those are for um, if you're a, a member. Apple Snapple, hello there. Um, yeah, what did, you know, really what did Kristen for your, hi there. Hello there. Hang on a minute here. I don't know, I've wondered from time to time. You're, oh, oh, my mug. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, how did you? Before we start, let's look on the progress on the elephant. He's almost done, right? He's almost done. Almost. Not all the way. And remember I told you I remembered something about a decoupage bunny? My daughter said I gave her a decoupage kit when she was maybe in the seventh grade and she made the bunny and she thought it came out pretty good. I don't, rem I, I have no recollection of buying her a decoupage kit. None, that scares me. But she liked the elephant. I have to finish it. Hey, Aries girl. Hi, Tamlin. Hi, Jen. Thanks, Tanya Renee. Hello there. You love the little elephant? He's pretty big. I mean, for a decoupage piece, he's pretty big. I was so nervous because I didn't know what pattern. If I hadn't had this pattern, I don't know what I would have used on him that would have looked good. But I really do like this pattern. And I like the color. So, OK. So you go down, little elephant. You go down there. Who's the one? Um, why do I need to name it Kenny? Why? Name the son, name the elephant Kenny? Why? I think T was trying to run. You think she was trying to run? I don't know what. Someone said that they heard she scratched herself as well. That just made me think that maybe she was trying to act like a lunatic. You know what I mean? Maybe she was trying to act insane. I don't know. I've got so many thoughts running through my head. Hi, Sims Life. Hi, Donna Brooke. Wonder if the officer was female. I don't know. I, I could check if we got a hi, Jeanette Quinn. Um, that would be cute in a kid's room. It's going in my bathroom by my bathtub. Um, why is that funny? I don't, I don't get the Kenny, but I must have missed something. Anyway, before we get started, that Gabriel Fernandez thing. Oh my gosh, my daughter turned that on tonight. It's bad. It's really hard to watch. I don't know. I, I don't know how anybody can sit there and watch that. I just, I can't. It's so hard. Oh, Lori, okay, okay, I will. Well, here's what we know so far, okay? Yesterday, if you remember, people were saying, I thought somebody was making a joke. Said They said, I'm glad she's not in Kansas anymore. Well, she still was in Kansas because 
She didn't get out of Kansas until this morning. Well, yesterday, you know what I mean by this morning, right? Um, so yeah, funny service dog. So um, the reason they stopped in Kansas is because she slid out of her handcuffs. And I have someone in the comments going nuts saying that's impossible. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. And going on and on and on and on. And you know what? I'm reporting what is out there in the news. And it is that she slipped out of the handcuffs. Okay. Um, you want somebody to argue with because it seems that's what you want. Uh, you can, you know, find that, I'm sure. Hey, Sharon. So she slipped out of the handcuffs and she attacked a deputy. So now whether that was when they went for a bathroom stop, whether that, I, I don't know at what point she slipped out of those handcuffs. Hi, Blue West. Hi, Segura. But at some point, she slipped out of the handcuffs. Now, she should still have had leg shackles on, correct, for transport? Um, so I don't know, I don't see how running could be her thing because how far could she run if she had shackles on her legs? They probably weren't tight enough, plus she is crazy like the Hulk. Hey, JJ Wyatt, yes, rest in peace, well, Gannon. You can slip out of them. My sister did it when she got a DUI years ago. Maybe she used grease from her dirty hair. <laughs> hey, April, pals and pigs, how are you? Pugs. People have slipped out of cuffs before. I bet it was fuel bathroom break. Okay. Yes, they can, unless you know the system. Maybe just a biatch. Now, the other thing I think is, um, what do they have to do when, now I don't have any idea of how this works. So if anyone here has been arrested and not only arrested, but you've been somewhere for transport and then you have to stop at a rest stop. What if, what if she said something like, what would happen if she got her period? What would happen if she said she had to take care of some stuff? What do they do at that point during a transport? Do they, um, uncuff one hand, do, what do they do at that point? You think they're using zip ties, but follow me. What do they do if a woman says, you have, <laughs> you've been, come on to Scooter. I'm not gonna fall for that one. Officer goes in the bathroom. Okay, but let's say Ivy Lynn, you're stopping at a rest stop, and what happens there? I would think they have to, so she can wipe, right? Well, wipe or take care of some other business, right? Because I don't think an officer wants to do that for her. They have to have a female officer, but right. Your what is it says she can, if the deputy didn't adjust and lock the cuffs in place, sometimes they are lax with the females. Happened once with him. They make them sign documents. Hank, I would think they need to be good with their hands. I wouldn't take off. Um, wouldn't they have a female with them? Yeah, but what if they didn't have one of those handicapped stalls. How would two of them fit in one of those little tiny stalls?
if cuffs are in the front, she can do it on her own? Really? You'd be surprised at the cavity searches. <laughs> I mean, they're saying she slipped out of the handcuffs. Good sakes. She could have headbutted the deputy. They don't. The door stays open. Aries girl. Um, I'm overthinking it. Not easily. She probably attacked the female officer in the restroom. Though it does say in the in, in the news article, it says in the, in the seat, let's read it again. Let's read it again because it says in the back seat of the vehicle, that's the thing. So if she was in the back seat of the vehicle and did it, well, that's crazy because there's already at least two people in the car, right? Two, two, two cops in the car, one driving and one Unless, well, when they took Watts and they, they took him with one officer, but he was just going to the county jail. This is a transport. So they're gonna have at least two or more, right? Historic published, they normally make sure prisoners know the stop is X, Y, Z distance. They adhere to predetermined stops. So a lot goes into preventing this in the first place. Could be a van. Okay. The cuffs are loosened up some for her to, maybe the cuffs were loosened for the restroom and then they didn't re, you know, click them tight again. It does see the backseat of a vehicle, right? So she's in the vehicle. What is she going to do? She'd have to take down two officers, her take down two officers. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What could she be doing? So, um, hey, Peggy. Could she have, hey, Sakura, could she have, um, and saw when it pulled into the EPSCO? Okay. Could it be? See, that, that leads me to believe that she was trying to say she was going crazy. Like, you know, like, I just picture maybe she was trying to be like delusional. Like, what's that? What's that? Who are you? Who are you? Like, you know, just like crazy, crazy cakes, okay? Who are you? What are you doing to me? Where am I? You know, like, like a lunatic. Okay. Um, she could have been looking to do that to get one of their guns, but that's not going to be so easy. Police abuser. She didn't want to die. She doesn't want to die and will kill herself. See, I don't think she wanted to die either. I think, but where could she escape if she has shackles on her feet? You think she was gonna be able to take two officers down? Where they have, they have body cams, the whole, remember doing the transports? They have body cams on. I don't, I don't understand where she was going with this thing. She wants to act as crazy. See, that's what I'm thinking. She, she wants to act freaking crazy. Just like, you know, like just to act like she doesn't know where the freak she is. Like, where are we? Where are we? Did you get the popcorn? Did you get the popcorn, right? And just be like, where is Cheryl? Where is Cheryl? And they'd be like, what are you talking about? And just be like, I need Cheryl, she's got my medication, my blood pressure, right? And they'd be like, what, right? You know, and just if she acted like a total nutcase 
And then she starts clawing at herself, right? Oh my gosh, I'm, uh, who knows if she didn't say like, my skin is, um, she might be scratching her skin off with like, I don't know what she could be doing. And maybe they, I don't know. Why would she, unless she wanted to do that other thing, make sure she gets to maximum security, right? Okay, so she was going to purposely do something really bad. So they put her in maximum security so she would be safe because she is kill she's allegedly killed a child. She may have tried to use this for them for being unfair and hurting her. Yeah, she could have done that. Hi, Shay Shay. Hi, Bobby Blue Eyes. We're talking about Letitia, yeah. My guess is she was trying to escape. I know it doesn't make sense, but neither does anything she's done so far. I'm not defending her in any way, but an officer might have been harassing her. She was totally normal in court. That won't fly. But maybe she was just trying to, what about get herself to maximum security, Sakura? Where they would have put her anyway, right? They would have put her there anyway, wouldn't they have? I'm thinking she's panicked like a wild animal. Yeah, I mean, hey, knitting. I think you're right. She probably acted so insane she even freaked the guards out. She thought she'd take the car and get away. But you never would get away, especially. Was she going to put the uniform on like in a movie and start pulling people over? Um, she's got to be mentally ill and to take down one officer and send him to the hospital. She was fighting to get free to run. Remember, she is always the victim. They must have done something to her. She is always, I just wonder why it wasn't mentioned at all, at all today. You know, like it wasn't mentioned at all. Do you think she thought if she leaked things that couldn't be used in a trial? What happened, Chris Ray? What's devastating? What's going on, Chris Ray? You just got really good news about the baby, right? What happened? You had a day from hell. You found out your husband is having an affair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Chris Ree. And you got such good news about the baby yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. How did you find that out? How long ago was the first time? Oh, yikes. I think maybe they don't want to talk about it. Okay. You're way overthinking this about her, Indiana girl says. Or acts for her protection to send in isolation. That's what I think. Maybe sent in, maybe she just wants to make sure she gets in isolation. She doesn't get around anyone or I, the other thing I said in the video is, could she be trying? Oh, really, Chris? Yikes. Could she be trying to um, send a message there? You know, I'm a badass. Don't mess with me because I attacked a deputy. So I'm coming in there. And if you think you're going to mess with me and you're going to try cut, cutting me, I'm going to cut you, Biatch. I'm going to cut you before you even know what hit you. 
Do you think she wanted to come flying into the to the uh, to the jail like that? Because you know those county jails before they're sent to the prison is where all like the tormenting and the taunting goes on big time. So do you think she was coming in there like, wow, this one's, you better watch out for this one. She'll cut a girl. And I'm saying girl, I know they, they wouldn't be saying girl. You, I, I'm thinking Shay Shay, like maybe she just wants to be seen like you you think you're gonna mess with her? She'll cut you up. She'll shank you. The hearing they did not file charges. Not until the eleventh. They need to wait on the officers. Yeah, but like usually the I mean, admonishment, like, hey, you know. This is that she went, don't mess with me, Jeanette House is, yeah. She could be just losing it. She could be just losing it. <sighs> okay, and then I'm really sorry, Chris Ray. Um, yeah, I would get to a therapist ASAP. I make sure you go to a good one. She hasn't been formally charged on anything yet. No one knows. No, she knows child are not welcome. Even prisons have a code of conduct if you want to call it that. Yeah. She acts like a character in a movie or something. She looked just fine. Carla Wren, yeah, you could send me an email and I'll get you my PO box, okay? Thank you. My email is in is in the video description. Use the Carolyn at True Crime Chat, please. dot org. It was a female deputy. Yeah. You think she's going for the badass approach? So they know they aren't going to. She knows they aren't going to shoot her. Well, the weight loss now, again, if it's noted on there, that could just be the difference in scales. I'll tell you there's huge differences in scales between my scale and my doctor's office all the time. So yeah, she might have lost five pounds and then there's two scales and it's showing 15 if it is, if it is, but it could just be a paperwork error. It could be that they didn't weigh her one time and they asked her her weight. It could be a lot of things. Her arm did not look that skinny today in court at all and had a bruise on it. Did you see the bruises on her arm? Did you notice that? I wonder if she got that because they had to like, you know, did you notice the bruises on her arm today? Did you notice her bruises on her arm? There was a difference in her height as well, right? She had 155.9 in Colorado. Yeah, I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. This Gabriel uh, Fernandez thing is, is ridiculous on here, what they did here. You know, it's just ridiculous. And I don't even know how these social workers, what happens here, don't tell me, but. You saw the bruises? 
They look like fingers. They look like fingertips. The cops have been leading and she pulled away. She's lost weight in the face, but that's just the devil showing through. Um, there is a video, a very short video of the hearing and, and she's kind of like half of her face is not half, a quarter of her face is off the screen. It's a news video. You've been trying to get to bed on time. I wonder in the photos where she is skinny if she was on drugs. Let me please read the email. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, so you say I worked in the system for over 15 years with with men and women ask, I can you a lot of things in jail. I worked in the system for over 15 years with both men and women ask, I can tell you a lot of things in jail. Okay, um, did you wanna call in? If you wanna call in, um, I can have you call in. Also, um, really quick, uh, the Brian clan sent me a photo. Let me see if I can share this. Oh shoot. What am I doing? Why am I going to Streamlabs? I'm not, I don't want stupid Streamlabs. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can share this. Hold on. I have to go to my Zoom. So, okay. I'll get this now. Share. Okay, and um, well, you guys didn't tell me how little I it is. Okay, share, I wanna share this, share. So hopefully you can see this. Um, it's Nicole Atkinson, you know, Shanann's friend. It says, here we go, round number 14 of chemo, round number 10 of Taxol. I'm struggling today. I can do this, I will win. Team Nicole, F you cancer, I will win. So she said, maybe we can offer up thoughts and prayers for Nicole. Obvi you know, of course we will. Um, Nicole, if you can hear this or see this, we are all um, praying for you and hoping that, you know, things get easier and these treatments go fast and you're finished and you're healed completely and never ever have to go through this again. So yes, you can win, you will win. We're all team Nicole and definitely uh, hashtag on that FU cancer, all the way FU cancer. So hang in there, you can do this, you beat this. Okay, hang on now. So let me get back to the chat now. Um, I keep, I'm, I'm gonna shut the stupid Streamlabs. Keep going to stupid Streamlabs. I have to pop out the chat. Let me see. All right, pop the chat out, okay. And now I will. So Indiana Girl, if you wanted to come on and talk to us, did, did you want to or not? Let me know.
You were just thinking of her? Ava Grace, I don't know, I would, I would assume so. Hey, Linda. Hey, Nerd Love, um, Karen, hello there. Hey, Diana. Thank you, hi, Gail B. Okay, so Indiana girl, I don't know if you want to come on or not. You know, you just let me know there. So I'm trying to listen to this this Gabriel Fernandez thing because this is hard, horrific to. Okay, so what, uh, Indiana girl, I can't see you. So yes, Max Carter, that's Nicole Atkinson. Yes, uh, Shanann's uh, good friend that, yes, called the police. Yes. Yes, and she has a channel here on YouTube, so you can go leave a comment there as well. Hey, keep it kind. Oh, you'd rather stay in chat. Okay, so if you want any questions, Indiana Girl has worked in the system. You can ask your questions to Indiana Girl. So Indiana Girl, what do you think happened being that you worked in the system? What would, be, what would you think happened? The document, well, my daughter's, what well, we started watching it, it got too hard for me. I had to come on here. I think my daughter fell asleep now. Allie? Yeah, she's asleep. Indiana said not now. Oh, I saw that, Diane Yell. Yeah, but she said she'll answer the chat. So I'm asking her what happened. What does she think happened? What does she think? Can she, go ahead and ask her. Yeah, go ahead and ask her. Thank you, Ava. Yeah, that's what I thought, Deborah. She would have been protective custody anyway, right? I understand that. You're not finished, Ashley? It's so hard. It's very hard to, to watch. I just wanna see if these, if these social workers were uh, held accountable. T's sister is in jail now in the same jail for domestic violence. Are you sure, Linda? Please tell me you didn't hear that on some group. I've seen them kick when the chains 
are getting taken off their feet. I was shocked to see that she was standing so close to, did you see those people behind her and the faces they were making? That was weird. That one guy was scaring the crap out of me. Does she want to call in? Does Indiana girl want to call in? Now she wants to call in? I can send you the number. Yes, I saw the bruises on her arms. Carolyn, Indiana is going to go somewhere quiet. The one guy was really creepy. Keep the kind says. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I can't say, is this social worker crying and saying she has no control over what happens? Okay, so I'm just waiting to hear. Thanks, SK Jean. What is wrong? What is going on? What happened? If I was Landon or Albert, I would have been standing in front of the police jail when she drove in. Yeah, I, I made a video about that, Deidre. We're going to talk about that in just one second. We're just talking about right now the slippage of the handcuffs. I wonder what her mom and dad must have thought sitting there watching her ready to go down forever. She sent the email. They never admitted to any wrongdoing. How could they? I don't know. I haven't been watching the look because I've been in here, but how could they not? They, they, that child was so abused. Oh, I don't know why it is so sickening. I don't even want to know. They they weren't they were they were not held accountable.
Okay, hang on. All right, Indiana girl, there you go. Okay. So Indiana girl has that. Now let me go back to the chat and now I've got to get the chat out again. Okay. Woohoo Gigi, what's going on? Woohoo Gigi. Again, these cases are a joke. Let the circus keep going. Lori's hair. And T's double jointed cuffs. Creepy Michael Douglas, Peggy Sue. A really creepy Michael Douglas. Oh my goodness. Really, really creepy. REA, I don't know what we're talking. Oh, about Gannon. Chris Ree, is this, this a new thing? I mean, you said you, you saw the number. Was this like the first month? She waited to call the police, right? Even though he came up with clumps of his hair out and bloody. What about everybody else in that school that saw that child? I didn't say I was okay with it or not. I see. I don't know what you're talking to, Scooter. Who are you talking to? Hello there, Indiana girl. Indiana girl. Indiana girl. Do, 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 do. Indiana girl. Indiana girl. Indiana girl. I don't know where Indiana girl is. Indiana girl. Where's Indiana girl? Indiana. Hello. Oh, there's Indiana girl. Hi. 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 So welcome. And do you want to t tell us your take on what you think might have happened? They will loosen the cuffs as they transport them. Hello. Oh, can you just make your YouTube because it's it's echoing? Yeah. Hold on. Sure. They will loosen the cuffs. Okay, as they when transport. when they transport. So it's just an automatic. They do they loosen them. Okay, and you think she just slipped out during the ride? She more than likely slipped when, she, like, if she went to use the restroom, 
good chance she also added soap to her wrist to help slide them off. Mm-hmm. But she she had no intentions of getting away. She knew she couldn't. It, I think it was more for attention. Mm-hmm. And that way, if they would have had to tackle her, it would have been another, okay, they violated my rights because she's already tried that one once. Mm-hmm. But she will be put in confinement anyway. Because the women in county jail, Mm -hmm. most of them already have kids. Right. They will not tolerate her. No. Right. She will be, she will be in confinement. Okay. And, and as far as doing it to say, hey, I'm a badass. Hmm. She ain't a badass compared to them women in there. No. That's not going to scare them off? That's not going to scare them. No. She'd have to kill one of them. Uh, And she ain't going to do it because they would kill her first. Hmm. Okay. And what is that going to do? But that's that's not going to help her out with... um, She's going to get another charge. She's because what? she she will get another charge. Right. Because once you are in custody, you attack an inmate, you attack an um, officer in the jail, you attack anybody. That is state property. Mm-hmm. So it's now she is going to get another charge for doing that. If not two charges for trying to escape. Right. Okay. So pretty stupid on her part. Basically, yes. <laughs> I mean, I know just an escape from a county jail will get you five years. An attempt to escape will get you five years. Hmm. Wow. So, Diane, we're talking about Tisha, who tried to, uh, well, maybe she slipped out of her cuffs and she attacked a deputy. Like I said, that was, I think she wanted attention. She wanted them, she wanted them to attack her. Mm-hmm. She provoked them what she wanted to do. She wanted to provoke them. Hmm. Even though they have cameras on and most likely and can see everything and, and, and all the more reason if she was one, oh, thank you, Linda Hola. If she was the what they mean, they saw her interview and how she said that her rights were violated in those interviews. So they would have been like on their, you know, dotting their I's and crossing their T's for sure. Correct. Right? Because they're going to say, look, this one here, she's going to say, you know, her rights are violated for anything. So you better, you know, really be on your, uh, you know, on top of your game here. Um, so they would have been ready and they would have had their cameras. So how would she think she was going to, to, do, to pass that off? A liar is a liar. Hmm. There, you've had to have met people like that. They cannot convince themselves that they are wrong. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 Oh. Like I said, I spent 15 years in county jail and five, five in juvenile. Hmm. And like I said, as far as wanting to try to show the women in there that she was tougher than they are, 
not going to happen. No. Them women will have her for lunch. But they will, but they're going to put her in confinement because there's too many women that's well, do you in think- jail and their kids are at home. Do you think she could have got, she figures she could just get off with that because she'll let them, she'll say, if you take that charge off me, I'll tell you where Gannon is. Then it's not like going out and actually attacking a person on the street. Mm -hmm. That's an assault charge. Mm -hmm. Assault on an officer is a more it's a harsher charge They're, they won't drop that charge they won't okay i don't you know maybe could she be stupid and think that they would i don't know you know i mean i have uh i, I don't know but you know there's something else that the the other thing that everybody's taught well uh, that i was talking about is that three days before gannon disappeared they pulled, they rescinded a teaching position that she thought she was getting. She was already taking the orientation for it, but they found too many inconsistencies when they started doing her background checks and things for, for things that she had told them. So they said, you know, thanks, but no thanks. And, and they let her go from that. And that was three days before Gannon disappeared. So it could, and just in that recording with her talking about, you know, what they could afford and they'd have to sell stuff and all this stuff, you know, could it be that, hey, Tisha, Al saying, you've got to get a job. Those two older kids are in school for the better part of the day. Your daughter's, you know, 17 years old and she's, you know, she graduated from high school. You need to get a job. You haven't had a job, you know, since the one you left, well, I think it was 2019, February or whatever. Um, and she had promised maybe it was something that was going to be contingent on them staying together. And then when they rescinded the job, maybe she was going through like living this lie, like, oh, yes, I've got it. It's, co-, you know, who knows? And just, you know, flipping out over the, I don't know. I mean, it's weird that it happened right before he went missing or she could have wanted to divert attention by who knows, you know, just, you know, using him as um, I would. Go ahead. I would question more why they sent letters to the other schools that she worked at right and i'm going to go over that letter too because um that that was an interesting thing as well i know thank you Lori. thank you so much um let me go back to where's my mail here okay so we have only reason she would have lost 15 pounds in jail is is if she would not have eaten there because the food they feed you is fattening and disgusting. Oh yeah, and some people are just too nervous. If some people get anxiety, they can't even eat, you know? Yeah, I mean, 90%, 90% of their meals are starch. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. So Jody Arias said they had that stuff with the caramelized onions, remember that one? I wouldn't say I'm sure. that because most they don't even use real meat. What they call hamburger is ground turkey. It's boiled. It is that's the only meat they use is ground turkey. Oh, really? They do not yeah, they do not use 
real meat. They do not get they do not get real coffee. It's chicory. It's tree bark. Hmm. I mean, they're not, it's not what it is. You get a piece of fruit yeah, see, I think, one time a day. See, Keep It Kind thinks she looked heavier in court too, and I think she did as well. She did. Yeah, I didn't like think I said, she looked thin. I thought she looked heavier. I thought her arm looked pretty meaty. Um, you know, I, I didn't think she, she lost weight. Most jails have a set meal that changes like every two weeks. Mm -hmm. You will either get like cold cereal in the morning and a milk and a cup of chicory, which is, which is tree bark. Mm -hmm. And some kind of fruit. Hmm. But then you're going to get what they call chili, which may, which is made out of turkey meat. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> they make in, they make their food in 90 gallon pots. Okay? Mm. Okay. It is boiled. Right. And for that 90 gallons, you only get four cups of like chicken base. Mm -hmm. That is the only flavoring you're getting in the food. I see. Because most jails now you get no salt, you get no pepper, you get no mustard, no mayonnaise, no condiments, unless you get it at a commissary and you pay for it. Hmm. Okay. They cut their budgets down. Oh. So if you want the extras, you pay for it at a commissary. I see. Okay. Um, all right. Well, yeah, interesting. I don't know why, you know, that she did it. I, I'm sure more will come out when, if she's going to be charged, they're going to, you know, we're going to hear details eventually about what happened. And so, hi, Diana. I doubt she'll ever take. You doubt what? I doubt she'll ever tell why she tried that. Like I said, because to me, it was more for attention. Okay. Because she knew, she knew she wasn't getting away. Mm -hmm. Because there is always, when they transport, there's always two officers with them. Okay. Always. Gotcha. One, one sits next to them and right. one sits behind them when they fly. Oh, but they're not, they, they took her um, all the way in, on the road. You know, they didn't fly with her. Okay, then still, she would have been, one would have been in front and one would have been back with her. Okay. Got you. Like I said, I'm, I would bet they loosened it probably for her to go in and use the restroom. Mm -hmm. To have a little more freedom. Right. The same way, if they act, if you actually pay attention, they did it. They did it to Chris Watts. They loosened his a little bit on his car ride. Yeah. Well, when they were with the, well, they, when he, when he was putting him in. When yeah, when they when they put him in, and if you actually watch him, when they when you, they show him in the Sally Port, them putting it, which is what it's called. Mm -hmm. It's called the Sally Port. Okay. They put him in the vehicle and they will actually unnotch their cuffs one or you know to do it. I see. So they can loosen them up for the ride so it doesn't rub into their wrist. I see, I see. Because they fidget. I see. 
Yeah. They sat in the back. They sat in the back seat. They sat in the back and they fidget and they rub their hand because once they're locked, they don't lock any tighter. Right. Okay. Now let's look at this uh, thing now. So here's what. Uh, here's the letter that went out. Now this went out. If hopefully you're seeing them. It may not be the way they spell it. Right, but I mean, it's like every other news article. There's one with the I, one with the E. It's right. Yeah. It depends on where they pull their information from mm -hmm. because that could be the way she spelled it at the school. Right, absolutely. So they, so they did not, it wasn't as easy to track her. Right, yeah, she could be, right. So it was arrested due to the nature of Ms. Duck's arrest. Now, she, that's because she was, she has a charge for child abuse, right? So this is why they have to tell them. Verifiable information is limited and details related to this case are currently sealed by the court. Therefore, specific pending charges are unknown at this time. However, Sheriff Bill Elder has said, Ms. Now they said Strouch there, they totally spelled that wrong, was arrested on an arrest warrant and preliminarily charged with first degree murder, child abuse resulting in death and other charges. Ms. Stouch participated in three days of orientation before the district rescinded its conditional offer of employment. Academy District 20 is providing notification to parents of students enrolled at Mountain Ridge Middle School where Ms. Stock was considered for hire as a teacher. Please note the pending charges have no connection to Academy District 20 students or staff members. When any employee is hired in Academy District 20, we conduct a full background check, including a Colorado Bureau of Investigation review, which revealed Ms. Stauk was eligible for hire. Additional due diligence and reference checks revealed inconsistent information. Please keep in mind all citizens are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And if you have any questions or concerns or information to report about Ms. Stock or have any additional questions or concerns, contact blah, 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 blah. Okay. So somebody was um, asking me, well, how do I know what I, th this is how, how we know. This letter was released to the parents of that school that she was in orientation for that position and they rescinded it to her. And they rescinded it on January 24th, three days before Gannon went missing. Right. So, yeah. So, I mean, that could be another stressor, you know, that, you know, she did something because of that timeline closing in on her. I don't know, but it's just another piece of the puzzle. Depends on who wants to all, it would be hard to find out, but I wouldn't be surprised if she don't have a disciplinary charge against her at one of the other schools. Well, she, I mean, she has other, she has that other charge where she, she deserted, she, you know, didn't tell them she wasn't coming. And then she claimed that it was because she was being harassed by her exes, I think they were saying, if I'm not, if we, it's been a long time, but that it was Landon or, or, or her ex's ex or something, or her husband's ex, which yeah, was but, Landon or something, or yeah, it was weird. Yeah, but there's also an addition to this one that I read that said that they sent it to her former schools too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just another, to me, it's just another piece of the puzzle here in this crazy. She may not have told them that she was dismissed from another school for, mm -hmm. for this disciplinary charge well, on a she, student. Right. Well, she did, we saw like she did, she did, uh, well, not that it was about a student. She had, she had lied about why she left the other one, you know, saying that it was something about the military, uh, that they had to leave or something. But then when you went and looked at the court documents, it had to do with um, her not letting the school know and just not showing up and leaving them in the lurch and all that stuff. 
Well, if there was a di- disciplinary charge for her mm-hmm. with another student, it wouldn't be in court records anyway. It, it'd be in juvenile. Okay. And it would that would not be something anybody would see because juvenile records are sealed and what most people don't understand is unless you are charged with a extreme crime Mm -hmm. like auto theft in that you are really not considered an adult until you're 21. Okay. And they can still put you in ju- they can still put you in the juvenile detention center at the age of eighteen. I see. Okay. Um, but most of them don't like they're even they're even charging you know young much younger as adults in certain crimes, right? They are yes. Because well, look at society. Be- younger children have gotten. They've stepped up their crimes. Yeah. I mean, like here in Florida, a block from my house, Mm -hmm. four kids went out joyriding, stole a car. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were running from the police, Mm -hmm. ran through a red light, hit a car. Okay. Okay. Injured that man to where he still cannot work. It's two years later. That car, their car, the car thief's car went airborne, hit a sign in the air, burst into flames. One got killed. Two got burnt to death in the car because they couldn't get him out. One survived. And that one's parents went back and sued the kid that they hit Mm. and won. Mm. Wow. Like I said, in that kid family won that when he was the one out committing the crime. Right. Yeah. What worked? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That happened. That happened about a year ago, a year ago. I said a block from my house. That car went 20 feet in the air and hit a pole. Hmm. But he got thousands of dollars and he was the one committing the crime. Yeah, well, crazy. Um, I don't know. That's so weird. I'm trying to see if there's, let me see here. So if we look at, um, she, okay, the stepmother of missing 11-year-old boy has officially arrived in El Paso County to face charges in his murder. She may face new charges after repeated, reportedly, excuse me, attacking a deputy during the extradition process. Leticia Stock, 36, was booked into the Criminal Justice Center mid-Thursday morning following a nearly 48-hour cross-country journey from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where she was arrested on March 2nd on first degree murder charges. Her arrest came five weeks to the day after the first reported, after she first reported her stepson a runaway. Now, the news learned that Leticia had slipped out of her handcuffs in the back of her transport vehicle from South Carolina to Colorado and reportedly attacked a deputy. The deputy was taken to the hospital with injuries, and that's why her transport was suddenly stopped and why she had to be jailed in Kansas for about 12 hours. She was released Thursday morning from the Kansas jail and appeared for her video advisement in Colorado Springs on Thursday. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office um, had no comment on the reported attack and they said they can't comment at this time. Let's see, um, Gannon's whereabouts still remain unknown, but in a somber news conference Monday, law enforcement acknowledged the outcome of people across the country that across the country had been 
praying wouldn't come to pass. On Wednesday, the sheriff's office announced he still has not been located. We sadly do not believe Gannon is alive, El Paso County Lieutenant Mitch Mahalko said. And um, let's see, it's that, uh, let's see. They refused to disclose what evidence led to Stock's arrest. Um, we will not stop, and this investigation has only just begun. And that, let me see. I'm trying to see if there's any. Yeah, see, since he went to the hospital, mm -hmm. she's, she, she's going to get that assault charge on a Leo. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's... It's, gonna, it's just going to depend if they put it with... which they didn't say she had a weapon, but it'll, it'll, it'll all be depend on if she had something else in her hand. Mm -hmm. That will be the deciding factor of what charge they charge her with. Otherwise, it would just be a straight assault on a Leo, which is a law enforcement officer. Okay. Yeah, that's that's about all um, all there is on that. But I'm sure. I mean, there's been a lot of um, speculation going on about her. Of course, uh, breaking. We learned she slipped out of her handcuffs. She allegedly attacked a deputy. We reached out to the sheriff's office, but they cannot comment. So I'm sure we'll hear more about it uh, in the days to come. But yeah, so that that's the news today. I mean, and then she had that her next uh, court date is uh, March 11th at 4 p.m. That is probably when they will add the charges. Mm -hmm. This is on her next court date. Okay. Because they because they will take her in front of the judge and read the charges she's already has towards her. And mm -hmm. then they will amend it and add the new ones. Whether she could have escaped or not, they, they, no matter what, they still can get her for trying to escape. Okay, now Lisa said, what if she's trying to delay her charges in Colorado? Won't she have to go back to Kansas for the new charge? No. No, because it was alone the way, well, because they were um, Colorado officers, right? That transported her, so. Well, unless Colorado sends her out like they did Watts, she's not leaving Colorado. Mm -hmm. Because if they convict her of this and sentence her. Right. She still may have charges in Kansas, but she will never get sentenced. She'll never get sentenced on them because she's going to spend the rest of her life in jail anyway. Okay. Well, we and the charges, but the charges will go. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if if they prove that she did do that to Gannon, and those charges come first, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as Hawthorne said, she tried to escape. Is that right? She slipped out of the cuffs and assaulted a deputy. And that's all we know for sure right now. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said that, well, first of all, they're, they're Colorado officers. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and Colorado ain't going to keep sending them, sending their officers back to Kansas for that. Right. And it's en route. So, it, I mean, the charges would be filed in her, Colorado, you would think. Yeah. They will be because yeah. they're Colorado officers. And it was a Colorado vehicle that she was in. Right. Right. So, well, um, the sheriff's deputy. Yeah. Right. SKG. Yeah. They would probably look to transfer charges at some point. Okay, and she's despicable. She's not leaving Colorado, you say. 
I think the only way she'll tell where he is if she could facilitate a plea deal, someone said. Um, I don't think that they'll probably offer her a plea deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, what uh, if they kept unless I mean, if they find uh, Gannon, I, I don't think they would offer her a plea deal that at that point, I think the only t you know, it, so the problem is they haven't found him. Right. Yeah. But if her and Al was already having problems, she may never tell. Hmm. Yeah, because I mean, it looks this like this is just this is just a hurtful way for her to get at him. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, unless you know she she's going to use it as a bargaining chip. Maybe it could even be a bargaining chip that she wants to go to South Carolina to prison. You know, so her family can visit her. I don't know what the bargaining chip is that she's going to try to get. You know, I because I, I, I can't see them saying, okay, you know, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. No, I can't see them using that. You know, the parents wanting to bargain with that. So what could she bargain with? We'll go to a prison in South Carolina where she's closer to her family. I don't know. Most times they they very I mean most times they don't take I mean she's not yeah she's a high, she's a high profile case mm -hmm. but she's not as big as the Watts case was yeah especially well. for especially for what he did mm -hmm. and. She, they probably will not move her out of Colorado because the state gets paid for their inmates. For everybody they have in that prison, mm -hmm. they make money off of them. Whether they admit it or not, the state gets paid to have them bodies in that prison. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll we'll have to say you'll keep following up on what's going on. And Chris Reed, you said you sent me an email. Um, what? And in a federal prison, she will be moved everywhere. Why would they think she'd go to a federal prison? Oh, what she did is, what she did is an is an a federal crime. She did, she didn't take, she didn't do anything across the state lines. She fled across the state lines, but if she killed, sorry, if she did what we all think she did, it was in the same state. Right, right. That that wouldn't that wouldn't be a federal crime. It have it have to be across state lines to be a federal crime. Right, right. And then, and I mean, there's all kinds of speculation. Some were saying that she brought some evidence back to South Carolina, or, you know, they were even speculating the worst that she brought part of him back there, you know. Um, but again, that's all complete speculation. And we don't know anything yet. And the affidavit of arrest is still sealed. And we don't know when they're going to unseal it yet. So we just have to we just have to wait um, and see if what, they ever if they ever unseal it, Carolyn. Yeah, I mean they usually do unseal them, but it's just like even with Frazee, I mean they made us wait a little bit for that one. Uh, Watts got unsealed, you know, fairly quickly right away, um, but uh, you know, usually they'll make you wait, but they do unseal it at some point. It it all depends because there's still part of what is it sealed. Yeah, but not yeah, not the arrest affidavit though. They usually let that oh. go unsealed at some point. It just is a matter of when. 
Right. Yeah. So I mean, even I mean, like the Dulos. Depending team. on depending on Colorado. Yeah. You, I mean, like Indiana, you can go in. You can actually not Indiana, Florida. You can go into the county you live in and see what they were, what their charges are. Oh, we know her charges, but um, for the, the whole arrest affidavit has not been uh, unsealed yet. And they're asking for it not, the defense is asking for it not to be unsealed except to the defense right now. And the prosecution said they're fine with it being unsealed. So we have to see what happens and when they will unseal it at what time, you know. Okay, so yeah, they just had it. They just had to share information to each other before we, before everybody else got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Florida is very. They good always do. Sharing information, they share their information usually so quickly. In Florida, it's ridiculous. It's yeah. Oh, I know they do. It's all by email now. Yeah, but I mean, they they let stuff go really fast in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of it because. You know, not all states are like that. <laughs> Florida is one of the one that, that you can get a lot of discovery before, way before case even, you know, is anywhere near going to trial. It's just very it's, true. Yeah. Florida. Is See, I know, I mean, I know a lot about it because in to deal with the murder charges, because my brother-in-law committed four. Oh, wow. And he spent, and he spent fifty-two years in prison. Hmm. Wow. But what a lot of people don't know is, when they sentence somebody to life, that does not mean that they're going to die in prison. Oh right, yeah. Rosemary uh, de Alessandro is a good, uh, a good example of that. What she had to do to fight for um, her daughter's killer to stay in prison, you know. Well, it because it has to, life in most states is 52 years. Mm -hmm. It has to be, it has to be natural life. Mm -hmm. Their natural life. Without the word natural, they get out at a certain, at so many years. Like I said, most of them is 52. I see. But unless that judge sentenced you to like life in a day mm -hmm. or to natural life, a person's not guaranteed they're gonna gonna be in there for life. Right, 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 right. Teacup teacup's asking what happened what happened with your brother in law? My brother my ex brother in law him and three him and three gentlemen that we all grew up with rock, we had a new stand on the corner of the town I'm from. They went to that man they knew he carried a lot of money mm -hmm. after he closed his business. They went to his front yard as he was walking up to his front door. They took a shotgun and shot him. Oh, wow. That was the first. That was the first one. The next one was a friend of theirs that just got paid, and he would not cash his check or sign his check over to them. So he, they. All four of them put his head in a vice. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. The third one, which happens to be my brother's ex boss at the time, mm -hmm. they thought he was a drug dealer, broke into his house, wanted his money and his drugs, which he wasn't because he had a nice business. 
mm-hmm. they shot him right in his, they shot him and killed him right in his house. What state did all this happen in Florida? Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. And the other one, they just shot him. Hmm. Because he just wouldn't hand over any money. They just shot him. Mm-hmm. Wow. So yeah. yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> and he's out now? That's why I say you, most people don't understand life imprisonment isn't life. Because he had life in prison and back then we didn't know it. But life in prison was fifty two years. He spent 52 years in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, anybody anybody can look up his records in DOC in Indiana. I'll even tell you his name so you can look him up because you can go under Indiana DOC and look for Larry Perkins. And it, it will tell you how many years he spent in there and even when he was in jail, they got him on a drug trafficking charge. Mm-hmm. And he's out. I see. Wow. At, I mean, after killing four people. Crazy. Crazy. Um, yeah. Wow. That's, uh, that's crazy. But uh, <laughs> wow, that's just, uh, just uh, Unbelievable, right? Uh, you think like, yeah, okay, I, I don't think you're going to be able to get a, this four times. Um, yeah. Bonus. You would think after killing four people that they would be in there. You might have an issue being out among, um, yeah, among the public like that. Yeah. Why? He ended up getting divorced from my sister. My sister divorced him. He got a new girlfriend in prison. And she married him. Oh, what a catch. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Are they still married? Yes, they are. Oh. Any kids? I honestly don't know because last I knew he moved to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. My sister never had any with him, Mm -hmm. but he's also an abuser. It's not a far stretch. I mean, that's, I, I'm not going to say, oh, really? I, I can totally uh, understand that he might be an abuser. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he was, he was totally, I mean, he ripped hands full of her hair out. She's lucky. She's lucky he didn't kill her. If he wouldn't have went to prison, he would have. Yeah, probably. Yeah. She's lucky. But like I said, any anybody can look at. I mean, you would assume. Like I said, it'll tell you. It'll give you everything that he was charged for. Like I said, and two more counts of trafficking drugs in prison. Mm-hmm. But you know, he's out. He's been out walking the streets for probably seven years now. Nice. At least seven. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. Just, uh, lovely. How can <laughs> you live a life after killing four people and spending 52 years in prison? Ava Grace wants to know how old is he now? Deborah wants to know how old is he about now? Uh, probably about 65. Why didn't, why didn't he have four life sentences? Donna said. Because that's not how the judge did it. Mm. But see, like I said, a life sentence does not mean natural life. A life sentence in most states, excuse me, 
has a limited year to it. Mm-hmm. It has a max year to it. Unless it's natural life or life in a day. And trust me, they will keep your body in that prison for that day after you die. Hmm. Oh, how, how old? So he must have been like 18 or 17 or when he started this life? Is it, uh, life? Right around, I think he was right around 20, 19 or 20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So, I mean, like I said, that's. I mean, it's even where did a, pri- a, a prison will keep a dead body? But mm-hmm. if it says life in a day, they will keep you stuck in a cooler for the extra day. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was uh, again. We have to consider ourselves. Well, lucky, I'm sure, um, to have gotten out of that without him killing her. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, that's part of the reason why I worked in the system. So, yeah. Hmm. I learned quite a bit working in the system. I imagine that you did, yeah. <laughs> it's a hard job. It's a hard job going, you know, there, uh, you know, and working. Look in there. There's there's a lot, uh, yeah, psychologically. Well, I, I was in, like I said, I I actually worked in the the jail. Mm-hmm. I was with detention officers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, just uh, and well. you and and in jail you. M- kind of have to show who's you never got physical, but you need to know, they need to know who's boss. Mm-hmm. And I'm only, I'm only five foot four. Mm-hmm. So I'm not very tall. Right. So I had, it was funny because I had an, I had an inmate that was with me all the time. Mm-hmm. the whole 10 hours I was there and all he did was carry a milk crate for me that's all he did mm-hmm. and that milk crate was for when somebody thought they were going to be Billy Badass and he would drop that milk crate and I would stand on my milk crate <laughs> and say now if you want to and you want to flap your jaws, talk to my face, not the top of my head. Right. That is all that guy did was carry my milk crate for 10 hours a day. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's because too- I, I would not allow them to think because I was smaller than them, they could intimidate me one bit. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, somebody wanted to know if you knew what he was like at your ex-brother-in-law, what he was like as a child or like, I mean, did he have a rough upbringing? Did he, was he killing animals as a child? Do you know anything about that? No, he wasn't. He was raised by a very church going family. Very church going. Oh, yeah. So was it drugs? You think it was all, was it all drugs that caused him? I know it was drugs. Yeah, it was drugs. Drugs are bad, kids. Drugs are bad. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And, well, drugs were bad back in the day. They're twice as bad now because what nobody understands is, is back then they grew the mushrooms and they, the heroin was already made. And nowadays the heroin is synthetic and the uh, pot is added to, that's like everybody that thinks it's, I'm not saying it's wrong, mm-hmm. but 
The ones that go and smoke the... The Scooby Snacks, like Tim Jones Jr. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ones that go and think that they go to like the cure leaf places that, Mm -hmm. okay, this is a certain kind of pot that does this and a certain kind of pot. I'm sorry, you cannot... You cannot strain out an anxiety out of a plant. Mm -hmm. You cannot strain out a relaxant from a you. There's no way to distinguish it out of a plant. They are chemically altered. Yeah, well, definitely the stuff that Tim Jones was smoking was Scooby Snacks and the Spice was just crazy cakes and um yeah it, it's chemically altered yeah that's like i said that's like the um when yeah. they tell people when they tell people they can give them those prescriptions for the legal it's legal to smoke marijuana and you walk into one and they go, okay, this one's for this and this one's for this and this one's for stress and this one's for anxiety. Mm-hmm. You can't, you can't, you're like I said, there's no way you can strain anxiety, strain anxiety out of this plant. Mm-hmm. Are you going to say that this leaf has anxiety in it and this one has stress in it there's there's no way to do that they're putting chemicals in them yeah i don't know i can't speak about that because i don't know anything about that but uh yeah (laughs) i I know about the scooby snacks and the spice was not good not good news um not good stuff really bad well it's it carolyn it's it's just like the vapes the kids are smoking Mm, yeah those have Some of them have glycol in them. Mm -hmm. You know what glycol is? I know polyglycol. Remember polyglycol? Poly that that polyrasmataz? No, polyglycol. Remember that commercial? Yeah. Do you know what they use that for? Shining cars. De-icing an airplane too. Oh, okay. They use it for de-icing airplanes. I see. Yeah, I, uh, antifreeze. Yes. Not yeah, it's antifreeze. Exactly what it is. So you're put. So yeah, you're smoking. You're smoking that and baked. Mhm. Yeah. Good job. I know that commercial, thankful and grateful. Do you guys remember that one? I've talked about that. You see, it looked like the guy from not Dudley Do Right, but the guy that's the villain with um, Rocky and Bullwinkle or something. And they wanted polyglyco because it shines up even cars from the uh, junkyard and makes them look brand new, showroom new. And then that's that guy that would come by and he'd go, you don't need polyglyco. And they'd say, what this? And he'd say, this is polyrasmataz. And they're like, don't settle for polyrasmataz. Ask for polyglycote. Now, whatever happened, uh-huh. go in the store right now and ask for polyglycote. They'll probably be like, what? And see, like, no, and don't give me any of that polyrasmataz. I want to make sure I have pure uh, brand name polyglycote. And they'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Are you smoking spice? No. But yeah. You know what? Yeah, they would be. They would look at you like you're crazy because I don't think they make polyglycode anymore. It's probably really bad for you. Yeah, it it is. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's prob- probably probably. P.S. for smoking marijuana. It only helped me calm down. Now they have a. Some of them do have testing, but you, it's from. SK gene. Some a lot of states do have it tested now, but that's like the CBD oils they got out there. They say they're 100 percent pure. Mm-hmm. Not all. Not all of them are. Not all of them are. 
like anything, just like essential oils too. You got to be careful. You buy some on Amazon and they're totally not what they say they are. So you've got to be careful buying anything really. Um, if it is what it is and you've got to, I mean, cause there's so many, Oh my gosh, so many companies that say something is what it is and it's not even MCT oil that people put in that bulletproof coffee. I guess mm -hmm. a few years ago when I, when my girlfriend wanted me to try that, I got some MCT oil on Amazon and like after three years, Jimmy just forwarded me an email from the company or from somebody for, from a lawyer for, you know, that said that was not uh, pure MCT oil. Thankfully I didn't even use it, um, but that it didn't have any um, health effects, but they wanted you to discard it because it wasn't made, you know, to the specifications that it should have been made. It, it, they lied. In other words, just like they do with a lot of essential oils, they lie. Yeah. About, well, so you get, mm -hmm. Right. That's like dreaming. That's like dreaming's in here saying that they're talking about, I'm talking about the least marijuana. And it says, I don't think medical grade is laced. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's late. I'm just saying that you, there is no way. To, let's say you got an apple. There is no way to say that this side of the apple is going to call, this quarter of the apple is going to calm you down. And if you eat the bottom of the apple, it's going to help your anxiety. And the right side of the apple is going to help with your P P PSTD. There is no way to separate all of these. There's no way to actually separate all of this. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying, look, I don't know anything about marijuana really or growing it or anything, but I, I do know like about plants. I'm just <laughs> wondering if they say like, oh, well, we found out. Now, I, again, I've never smoked marijuana in my life. So you're like, no. Ne neither have I. Stems, okay, um, but let's just say you said something in the stem or something when they chopped it up. <laughs> this is probably going to sound so, you know, uh, they found out that that could relieve anxiety and the leaves were better towards something else. Like I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Cause I don't. I'm just <laughs> talking about like peppers and things like that. You know, yeah. like Carolina Reapers are like extremely hot, but then you have a ghost pepper. It's extremely hot, but in a different way. And, you know, they may cause acid reflux and you shouldn't, you, you know, like, so I, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about it. So I shouldn't. Talk. Yeah. People just have to be very careful of where they're getting their stuff and do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just know that, you know, I just know people said, you know, I, I can't, not, not me. They say they can't do it like, because it makes them paranoid. And I know it. Like in high school, I heard people say it gave them the munchies and they do, that's as much as I know about it. Paranoia and, and excess eating. That's well, like I said, people just have to actually do research and check on how pure things are anymore because there's way too much chemicals put into everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Well, thanks for coming on, Indiana girl, and thanks for telling us about uh, your brother and ex brother in law story there, and giving us a little background on the uh, jail life. And appreciate that for you calling in. Thank you so much. Yeah, she will probably be dressed in a pretty yellow when she gets there. Yeah, I was wondering. She was in like a blue, like tank, not a tank top, but like almost like a. I don't know what the heck kind of sleeve that was. That she had on cap sleeve almost blue and everybody else had orange on so sure. now nah, she'll get she, well most inmates are orange depend it, it all it all depends on what they are mm -hmm. regular inmates are orange women are usually yellow mm -hmm. women that work are usually green trustees that are out in the public are oh, suicide vest. They said it was a suicide vest she had on. 
It was her turtle suit, Kathy. Okay, that, okay, <laughs> yeah, she had a turtle suit on. <laughs> yeah. Was it was it her turtle suit, or so some so somebody didn't come after her? I don't know. It was yeah. I guess that's what it was. Her turtle suit. Okay, got her anti-suicide vest. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. I don't. I don't think that woman would have enough nerve to commit suicide. Yeah. Usually, you know, they 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 don't want to. I think if she was going to commit suicide, she probably would have done it. Be, you know, I don't know before the whole thing, but before now. Yeah, like a photo stoolist kind of thing. You know, poor, poor me, they're, they're attacking me and I did nothing and I'm innocent and I'm being attacked and I can't take it anymore. And, you know, that kind of thing, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I think we're going to be in for a little bit of a wild ride with this one here. We are, but it's going to be interesting to watch. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Again, I uh, appreciate uh, you calling in and thanks again. And thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good bye. night. <laughs> okay. So let's go to Lori Vallow. So Lori Vallow, um, <laughs> she came into Idaho and after she got off the plane, <laughs> that reporter stopped her, you know, and Lori, same thing. Do you know where your children, where are your children? Where are your children, Lori? Aren't you gonna say anything? Do you wanna say anything to Chad? Do you wanna say anything to the people? Lori, 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 say something, say something, say something. Of course she said nothing. Um, she got, they got in the car, they strapped her in. She didn't try to get loose. She didn't assault any deputies, um, but she didn't say a darn thing about her kids. Now there's also something else I have on her. Hang on, let me see. I have her booking photo. Would you like to see her booking photo? Have you seen it? Tell me, have you seen it? Okay, let's see here. Open. Okay, so let me share this booking photo with you. Where's my Sherry thing? Share. All right. Okay, so now you should have the share on there. That's her new booking photo. And let me see. So I'll give you all a chance to see that. And stop sharing that and go to my other thing because I'm not sure I'm using Zoom and sometimes then if I'm on share, um, let me get crazy. So let's see what I have here. Lori Vallow, okay. Now, why am I a little again here? Okay. Lori Vallow back in Idaho as she faces charges connected to her missing children. She arrived in Idaho on Thursday. She's been booked into the Madison County, Madison County Jail as she, as she faces charges connected to the disappearances of her two children. Now, the FBI had asked for anyone with photos videos from Yellowstone National Park in connection with the Vallow case to please get those. So if you were at Yellowstone National Park in September when, let's see, and I'll tell you the exact um, dates here. So the FBI and the Rexburg Police Department in Idaho are asking for the public's help as they continue to search for the missing children of Lori Vallow. Both agencies are asking visitors who are at Yellowstone National Park on September 8th. So everybody listening, if you were in Yellowstone National Park on September 8th, 2019, submit those photos and videos to the FBI or the Rexburg Police Department in Idaho, or at least call them and tell them what you have. 
Authorities are searching for 17-year-old Tylee Ryan and seven-year-old JJ Vallow. The children who have not been seen since September lived with Lori Vallow in Rexburg, Idaho, prior to their disappearance. An investigation has determined the children were in Yellowstone National Park on September 8th with Vallow and their uncle, Alex Cox. Hmm. According to the FBI and the group, was traveling in a 2017 silver Ford F-150 pickup with the Arizona license plate CP Quint, like quintuplets, CP Quint. Um, authorities are asking for any photos or videos from the park on that date, which may have captured images of the group or the vehicle. And you can, they can be sent to fbi.gov forward slash Rexburg. So we have that one they're asking um, for that. And then what was the other thing I was, we were on, we were on something else here. Okay, so she's been charged with uh, multiple felonies, including two counts of desertion and non-support of dependent children in addition to contempt of court and obstruction. And let's see here. She goes, she's, I think she's in court tomorrow, right? She's going to court tomorrow. Okay, and then Vallow is currently being held on $5 million bail. The other thing we have is the Durst trial. And that entered its second day, still doing the opening statement from the prosecution, still putting out the, um, the jinx. So I, I, they, they're putting out there that um, Robert did tell the producers that he talks to himself quite frequently. That was good. Talks to himself quite frequently. And he had a hot mic on him when he went into the bathroom and said, you know, what did I do? Killed them all, of course. You know, so they, they played that in opening statements. Um, again, so the second day they're, they're playing stuff in his, own, in his own words, in Robert's own words. Um, and what else did they say? There's no court tomorrow. They're going to resume on Monday. So that, that's what they're still, they're still doing that. They're still going over these opening statements of him killing his good friend because uh, she's going to rat something out on him. This is what he, you know, they're allegedly saying the prosecution. So he killed her execution style and there was no struggle and there was no robbery and um, she let him in and didn't know that he was he was going to kill her. So yeah. That was that. That was that. That was that. And uh, anything else going on? Did we cover all, everything we should? Because it's, is it 3.33? Wow, that was good timing, wasn't it? We just finished. That's crazy. I can't even see the chat. Let me get to the chat. Is it 3.33? I can't even see the chat or anything. Hang on. Hey there. Now I can see a little bit. Hold on. I can't see. Now I can't see anything. Okay. Okay. Let me restore the chat here. Restore the chat. Did we get to, is it 333 or am I, cre it's not 333. It's 331. Okay, good. <laughs> Carolyn, put your glasses on. Um, okay. So we got two minutes. So that was pretty good. Pretty close though. Thanks, Indiana girl. Um, and good night. So we talked about Tisha, we talked about Lori Daybell, and we talked about Robert Durst. And we didn't ramble too much, right? Ivy, we stayed kind of on on track as much as it as we can, without driving our crazy ourselves crazy. Um, You know, uh, just listening in, Belinda Brubaker. Oh, I don't know. 
polyrasmataz, polyglycode. I think I'll go into, I, I think I'd like to take a video into like, um, what are those auto stores? Uh, take my son with me. He goes there all the time. Maybe I'll add, tell him, oh, if I could only get a video of my son asking, because that would be good. I could tell my son, hey, listen, you got to go get me this thing at the auto store. <laughs> He's like, what is it? I'm like, get me polyglycote, but make sure it's real pot 333, real polyglycote, because they'll probably try to give you this other one. It's called polyrasmataz, and you do not want polyrasmataz. Make sure it's polyglycote. <laughs> I can see my son. He's like, my mother said, do you have polyglycote? AutoZone, yeah. Polyglycote. <laughs> they haven't made that stuff in years. That was killing people. Um, Try this polyrasmataz. I'd love to have call the guy behind the counter and say, when my son comes in and asks for the polyglycode, tell him we don't have that anymore, but you know what's really good? I have some polyrasmataz in the back. <laughs> if I could get them, if I could get that guy in on it, that would be fun and get someone to videotape it. That would make a good show. I bet you could call that show something like Candid Camera. That's a good idea. Um, somebody should think of that show. But what time do you usually start in New York time? Newfie? Um, I don't know. It all depends. Like this, this week, my daughter's been here, so I've been starting a little bit later. Um, You know, you never know. It's like a box of chocolates. To be a real rambler, you you got to be ready to rumble at any time. And to ramble at any time. <laughs> rumble. But sometimes we rumble. Sometimes we do rumble. But you've got to be ready to ramble at just about any time. You got you, you we fly by the seat of our pants here. We don't follow a set schedule. We're trying to follow a set schedule of, of signing off by like 3:33, but then again, that's a general general guide. If we get off by 343, we're feeling really good about ourselves. 353, hey, okay. You know, four o'clock, all right, you ran a little bit over. But you got, you've got, you got to just, we're, we don't, we don't, we're not stringent. We don't follow stringent rules here at all. N not in those, in that, in, in that type. In other rules, we are stringent, but you know, no victim bashing and stuff like that. But that's important, but do you know other rules? Yeah. Like I'll never say to you like, and I'm gonna come on at this time every week because it's silly, it, 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 life happens, life happens. Hi, Diana, good night there. Okay, much love. All right, good night, everybody. Have a good night. And um, I love that I have support with you guys at night. Yes, SK Jean, Alrighty. Give the video a thumbs up on your way out of here, okay? Let's let's try to see if we can get um, get those thumbs up all the way up, 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 up. up. Anyway, um, everybody have a good good night and uh, thanks for stopping in. Prayers for Nicole Atkinson and all those that need them. And uh, God bless. Thank you to the moderators. Uh, Chris Ray, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, prayers for Chris Ray going through what she's gone through. And uh, everybody, um, take care. All right. What Pitbull? What is it? What Pitbull say? I don't know what Pitbull said something. Didn't. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that pit bull. We'll have to see what happens there. We'll have to see. All right, everybody take care. Everybody have a good night. Take care. God bless. Good night. I don't know how I get us out of here. I've got to find the, uh, I'm on Zoom, right? Yeah. So just have to end the meeting. Yeah.